Hi we're guys. Back. Okay guys, we're starting with something called the slope intercept form. Now, this is going to be with you forever when it comes to math. It's super duper important and I know it sounds scary, but it's going to become your best friend because this is the easiest way to be able to graph this equation, okay? Now, Tristan, I know you already know how to do this. Don't ruin it for everybody else. All right, so we're going to look at this and we're going to have to define parts here, okay? So we have an equation because there's an equal sign. Y equals negative 3X plus 4. So, go ahead. Last week we learned how to plug in points to turn this into a graph, but we're going to teach you a better, fancier way. Definitely. Okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and define all of it. So let's define that y. It's called the what kind of variable? Oh, that's good. We yeah, haven't gotten there. We haven't gotten there, but that is a dependent variable. So we're going to go through each piece because we want you to know what everything means. Then, of course, we have the equal sign, which makes it an equation. Then we get to this cool negative 3 that's attached to that x. What is that negative 3? That negative 3 is the slope of the line that we're going to graph. Okay. okay. So that number determines whether your line is going to look like this, like this, like this, or like this. It is in charge of a lot of things and it's super important. So on your notes, fill in this bubble with a reminder to yourself that slope is rise over run. Okay. okay. And remember to put the arrows so that you remember what rise and run are. So rise is always up and down, and run is always left and right. Okay. Then in our equation, as we move over, we have an x. And if that y is a dependent variable, what kind of variable is your x? It is an I oopsie, independent variable. Remember, if you get stuck on anything where you're writing your notes, all you have to do is pause, and then you can keep going because everybody's got this in their ears so people can go at their own pace. All right? So okay. then we have a plus 4. That 4 is sitting there all alone, but you know what? It has a purpose. Just like each of you have a purpose, that plus four all by itself has a purpose and it's important. What is it, Ms. Vincent? It is the y-intercept. Yes. So let's all pause. This is where we call on somebody to tell us what intercept means. Oh, what's intercept? <laughs> Let me think. If I throw a ball and somebody gets in the way and catches it from me, that's an interception because they crossed in front of you to grab it. So a y-intercept is where the, this is very suspenseful, line crosses the y-axis. And just as a reminder, the y-axis goes like this. Right, Ms. Vincent? Yes. Just like this. All right, we got it. So. This, e, this is all very, very important stuff. We just want you to write it down so you can look back at it. But then we're going to get to some examples, and this is where the fun begins. I mean, slope, intercept form, and graphing equations like this, this is the stuff we do on Saturday oh, night. It's the best. It's the best. You're going to love it. Okay, let's go. Okay. Graph some stuff. <laughs> 